week, I'm going to be sharing with you a book, okay? Um, and then we're going to be working on creating something. We are going to become engineers. So take a look here. This is a picture of the Great Wall of China, okay? Um, have you ever heard of the Great Wall of China outside of me explaining? You have? It's like really long. Um, it's like a thousand feet. It is really long. I'll give you a cool fact. It's over 13,000 miles long. Why do you think that the Great Wall of China was built? <gasps> what do you think, Tara? To um, separate parts of China. Okay, why do you think they do that? I don't know, probably because they, um, they want to keep peace. Okay. The Great Wall was built to separate two sides of China, okay? So you're absolutely correct. Um, I want to show you another. Here's another view. It's kind of like a close-up view, so you can really see what it's built out of. Does everyone notice that? Um, how did you think the Great Wall was built? Maybe with rocks or, or bricks. Okay, so those are materials, and that was going to actually be my next question for you. So what materials, but how do you think it all came together? Did it just magically appear? How? Who did it? What tools? What tools did they use? Yes. Maybe they used their hands and like they, they made a special glue to stick it together. Interesting. And Caitlin is on the right track. So what I'd like for you to do is I want you to turn around and I want you to face our normal direction. Okay? I want to ask you some questions about materials. Okay? And I want you guys to take a moment and think to yourself, what is a material? They're the objects that you need and use. Okay. They're tools that you need to make something. Okay. They help you build better. Materials are, are any that kind of natural resources that can help you make something, construct it, or, dis or dismantle it. Very interesting. All right, so we've got a really extensive list of um, materials. So now that we've talked about materials, I want us to talk about what a materials engineer could be. What could be the job of a materials engineer? Yes? Per a person who makes objects that, that he or she uses. Okay. What else do we got? Anthony? A special type of scientist. Special type of scientist. All right. I'm thoroughly impressed. So as we're listening to this book that I'm going to share with you this morning called Ye Men's Great Wall, you are going to, again, find out about a materials engineer, and that materials engineer just happens to be Ye Men's grandfather. So here's the front cover of the book, okay? Ye Men's Great Wall, Chapter 1. Ye Men was acting as an undercover detective, an undercover bunny detective. Ever since spring had arrived in Yi Min's village, she and her classmates had gone to their garden once a week to pull weeds and record the growth of their plants. But as the weeks went on, a rabbit, or a tuzi, kept eating the vegetables they had planted. Yi Min had decided to save the garden by catching this bandit tuzi. So that's an interesting word, a tuzi, T-U-Z-I. Was anyone listening to hear, what is a tuzi? I think a tuji is some kind of rabbit in China. That's correct. I'm just going to stick it right here. Okay. Today she was going on a special trip with her class. They were going to visit the Great Wall of China. The next day at school, it was time for another visit to the garden. Yi Min and Chen found themselves looking at a ragged, half-eaten cabbage plant. We need to think of a way to stop that rabbit, Chen said. We can build our own Great Wall of China. So, yes? Well, she forgot one important thing. What's that thing? Bunnies can jump really high. Hmm, interesting. That might come into play when she figures out how she wants to design or engineer her wall. So that's going to be important in the planning process um, that'll come along a little bit later. Hands are down for a minute. Um, how do walls help people? Rashad, can you think of one way that walls help people? By protecting them from danger. They definitely do. What else? Protecting them from rain, rain and rain and thunderstorms and floods. Okay, very good. That's another great idea. They, they separate stuff like if you want to separate, like if you live <coughs> up close to a lake mm -hmm. in your backyard, you can put a wall there. That's absolutely correct. Right. All right, hands are down. So here's what I'd like us to do, okay? For now, I want us to pay attention to this piece of paper that I have in my hand, okay? You and your partner are going to be um, working together to complete a certain task. Now, listen as I read the directions. 
It says, from what material or materials do you think Yi Min and Chen should build their wall? So what you're going to do is you're going to circle the materials that you think you should use. Then you're going to draw a picture of what you think the wall would look like in the box. All right. You're going to go to your seat and put your name and date on the top of the paper. Go ahead, talk with your partner about what you think the best materials are. You may now go ahead and begin. And then, like, we could put cloths on the wood. outside so, like, if someone bangs into it, like, they don't get hit wood, that far. Wood, cloths. Oh, yeah. Rocks. Rocks. So, so, circle it. Yeah. So, let's draw. Yeah, but the thing why you shouldn't use cloth is because what if it rains? What if the cloth gets wet and falls off? Actually, Marilyn, I think we should use both rooms. Oh, God, this might take forever. Um, I want us to go ahead and stop. Come join me back on the carpet. Let's begin with Chapter 4, A Talk with Grandfather. Yi Min walked home from school that day thinking about the wall she and Chen could build. She knew one person who had helped to design real structures like bridges and buildings. Her grandfather. He was an engineer. At home, Yi Min found her grandfather sitting outside on the patio, sipping green tea out of a jar. Hello, grandfather, she said. Yesterday in school, we visited the Great Wall of China. Did you build structures like that? Here's a picture of grandfather. I helped design the mortar for the bridge. It's an important technology because it's the part that sticks the bricks together. You must know a lot about different materials, said Yi Min. I need your help. There's a Tuzi that keeps coming in and eating our plants. Maybe you should use the engineering design process, Grandfather said. That's how most engineers solve problems. You've already started the process by asking questions. So I want to stop for a minute because something important has come up and we need to discuss it. So the engineering design process, can everybody say that? All right, so the first step in that process is to ask. Everybody say that? Ask. Yeah. Very good. One of the first things you should ask yourself is, what's the problem? So chapter 8 is entitled, A Real Engineer. All right, so let's continue on. Building the wall and designing the mortar was such hard work, Yi Min said. It made me think about how much soil and how many rocks were used to build the Great Wall. I can hardly imagine how they put everything together and made the wall go on for so many miles. I can imagine it, said Grandfather, smiling down at her. They just needed a good engineer to lead them, just like you, Yi Min. Yi Min smiled back. She did feel like an engineer. What I would like for us to do is we are actually going to migrate back to our desks areas, okay, because in the next part of our packet, we're going to take a look at the engineering design process and we're going to see when men, ye men rather, use certain steps in the engineering design process, okay? So we're gonna work through figuring that out together, all right? So if you take a look, is everybody on that page? Thumbs up if you're on this page that's in front of you. Excellent. You and your partner are going to talk about the engineering design process that was featured in this story. Your job will be to take the five steps in the process and you are going to correctly identify at what step ye men and Chen were at um, by filling in the sentences with the correct word. That's not playing, that's improved. The first one is playing. Imagine. Isn't that what you imagine to you? Well, that must mean the gas is ass. The plan is the. Um, no, the rest is oh, oh, create. 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 Yeah. Just the create stuff. Maybe we should read the space. sentences one more time the, just to make sure we the, do the, the improve. Um, I would like to know, what if Yi Min and Chen forgot to do the improve step in the engineering design process? What if that step they just completely eliminated and said, oh, you know what, um, I don't think it's necessary. Their, their um, thing wouldn't be strong, stronger, and the bunny bandit, if he started hopping at it a, a lot, and um, he kept, he probably could have broke it. Mm. So why is the improved step in the engineering design process so important? Because if you don't use the improved step, it might, maybe it might, like, break down, mm -hmm. and the bunny can get to it and eat all the plants again. And what does the improved step allow you to do? It helps you make it better 
And right, and you said something so important. It helps you to make whatever it is that you're creating better, okay? And if there are opportunities for you to try and then try again, you can be sure that by the ending, you'll have exactly what you need and it'll work to the best of its ability, okay? My name is Chantel Neat. I'm a second grade teacher at Colbert Elementary Museum Magnet School in Hollywood, Florida. Well, first, I feel like the storybook gave the students a lot of background knowledge. Um, background knowledge on the, the country in which the story took place, background knowledge on the fact that there is this structure called the Great Wall that exists. And for them to be able to take that idea of the Great Wall of China and turn it into this idea of creating a wall that's going to protect this garden, and then being able to also hear the character say, okay, here are materials that I think are gonna be really good for constructing this wall. And they got to see how the character was able to see for herself, maybe this material is gonna work well, maybe it's not, and to kind of play around with different combinations of material. I like how the engineering design process was specifically stated for students, and they could see it in practice throughout the entire story, and relate it to the engineer, which was a materials engineer, the grandfather, in the story. So I think the story plays a huge and integral role in helping the kids to understand what engineering is, what materials are in this case, and how they kind of go together to understand who a materials engineer is.